hi guys welcome back to my channel mi tutorials in this tutorial i'm going to teach you how to highlight the minimum and the maximum value within your table in power bi so as you can see here in the table that i have over here i have highlighted the minimum value and the maximum value here using the green and red color so i'm going to teach you how to do this using the dax so let's get started with this tutorial i'm going to go to the new page here and start this from scratch so the first measure that I am going to create here is uh, I need a total sales for the total sales amount. So I'm going to call this as total sales new since I already have a total sales new uh, total sales amount. I'm going to use the calculate function over here. Let me just make this a little bigger. I'm going to use the calculate function here and do sum of my sales amount from the orders table close the bracket here then again close the bracket here and press enter so we now have a measure which is called as total sales new and then let me quickly bring in a category or the subcategory that we want in our table here subcategory and then we will get the total sales new amount and then I would like to bring in the region column over here which is over here and then I'm going to change this to matrix and uh, right now I have all of my values over here. Let's quickly format this to show us, show this in USD. Okay. Okay. So we now have got the table. So let us now create the uh, actual measure, which will help us in highlighting the values. So I'm going to go here, click on new measure. So I'm going to call this measure as, uh, let's say highlight is equals to. So the first thing that I'll be using here is the calculate table function and within that I'm going to use the add column uh, function and over here I'm going to use the summarize function. Uh, let me just format this so that you can see this better and then add column summarize. So here I'm going to summarize my orders table and then I have selected my subcategory over here. So I'm going to select subcategory comma and then I also have my region so I'm going to enter that value here as well okay and then I'm going to close the bracket here comma and then it's asking me to enter the column name that I want to add so here I'm going to add amount column okay comma and then it's asking me to enter the expression this is going to be the total sales new that we have created from the measure okay then i'm going to close the bracket here followed by a comma and then here i'm going to say all selected because i want the entire table over here okay i'm going to say all selected close the bracket close the bracket here again of my calculate table okay and then uh, let's type in i made one error over here i'm going to assign a variable to the entire calculation that we just did so I'm going to call this as uh, sales values is equals to all of this. Okay. And now let's begin with our other variables, which is identifying the minimum and maximum value. So min value variable min value is equals to I'm going to use the min x function over here. And it's asking me to enter the table here. The table here is going to be the sales values uh, variable that we've just created sales values comma. And then it's asking me to enter the expression. This is going to be by my total sales new measure. Okay. Then I'm going to close the bracket here and then let's go and identify the max value. Max value is equals to. I'm going to use the max x function here and repeat the same thing sales values comma total sales total sales new okay and then another variable here to identify my current value current value is equals to my total sales okay. so let us define another variable here called as, called as result is equals to then i'm going to use the switch statement okay the expression here is going to be if it is true comma value one is going to be the uh, current value if my current value is equals to min value 
okay then my result here is going to be as 1 okay comma and then my current value is equals to max value then I want the result as 2 okay and then I'm going to close the bracket here and then say return result okay so basically if whenever it identifies the minimum value it will return the value as 1 and whenever it identifies the max value it will return the value as 2 okay now let's press enter over here we've now created a new measure so now what we will do is we will go to the sales total sales new measure that we have over here click on this and then uh, conditional formatting go to background color and the format style here is going to change to rules and then it's asking us what field should this should we base this on here you will have to select the measure that we've created which is highlight and then if value is equals to one and this is number then it is green and then add a new rule here if value is equals to two which is a number again and if it is two then I need this value highlighted in red and then I'm going to click on OK. Uh, you're seeing here a lot of values being highlighted. Let us check what has happened. Let's go back here and uh, I have selected the wrong field over here. This needs to be region and not country slash region. So make sure you are selecting the right columns and then let's go back here to our table and now you will see that the lowest value and the highest value have been highlighted on our matrix table so it's super important that you are selecting the right tables in your DAX formula so this is the entire DAX over here uh, I hope this is very clear for you to watch this and understand what is happening how this is being calculated so that's it guys in this particular tutorial I hope this video has helped you you've learned something new today please consider subscribing to my channel for more such tutorials